My name is Asare, Asare Ibrahimpour. I'm an artist and art performer, and I teach painting as well. My concentration in art is mostly in improvisation, improvising in painting, creating ideas, and developing it, as well as improvising in body movement and mixing these two together, because I believe our body is the first place we are living in, and we need to express from here as well. And I teach and design art therapy classes, workshops to individuals, governments, and uh, companies as well. So, you ready for painting with coffee and turmeric? With a spoon, without brushes as well. So, I'll show you there. Hello everyone, I hope everything is great and you're doing good in a great health and staying at home. My name is Asare, so as you know, we are going to do turmeric and coffee painting. So let me show you a couple of examples here. So as you can see, this part is done by turmeric. Here is the coffee here as well. The blue, let's say um, the spots are the herbal tea. So actually the herbal tea is this one, hibiscus, which is red. When it dries, turn to blue. It's fantastic, right? And for some people that they don't have marker or very dark, let's say pencil, they can do this stitching as you can see here, right? It's actually very interesting. And I had some leaves, they fell down, and I decided to stitch. So you can see the, this part. So it's nice, right? You can do many things. This is another one. So this one was the first one that I did based on improvisation. And this one has a bit of nature and more of expressive type of painting. This is another one. I added some text as well here. So again, based on improvisation. And there is this one, as you can see. So here is turmeric. This one is just black tea. This part is coffee. And here is hibiscus, that herbal tea, which mix with the marker actually. And this green shade is beautiful, right? It's a mixture of turmeric and hibiscus because when it, it's red, yes, but when it's mixed uh, with turmeric, it turns green because when it dries, it turns to blue. So it's beautiful, right? And I write, as you can see, I wrote a poem and on a tracing paper, you can do it on a cooking uh, or baking sheet and paper and I did this teaching here nice good so today we are going to actually do this one you're ready great you need a paper a pencil for shading just coffee grounded coffee or just instant coffee just mix it with hot water make sure the water is less not too much and we have turmeric just a turmeric powder and with water mix it and that's it let's just start we are going to create some straight lines it's better to start from this side not from the middle because we need to add the face here so we are going to add a little bit of coffee to the spoon and all the way to 
the face. Great, I feel like I'm done with the tree and I'm going to use the turmeric. Now let's stir it and what I'm going to do, I'll add some, let's say, very small spots around this and very close to the branches so I would like to show they are flowers because it's a spring okay I'm done with this so what we can do with the pencil I'm going to drag all these let's say um, flowers to the front of the tree so you can really create different type of uh, unusual shape with it and drag them uh, to each other and turn them to a very beautiful creative shape as well great I think that's good how about if some of them are falling down? And there are some on the ground and here. Maybe some of them there too. Great. So, we're done. What else we can do with the pencil? You can give a shading, especially once it's dry. What will happen? Uh, when it dried, actually, you can see all these grounded parts and you can dust them off. So it would be slightly lighter, but not very, very light. It's going to be exactly like this shape. It won't be this shape. It will reach a bit darker than this, but not as dark as this one. You can give a different shading, you can go around the circle if you want some of them and give some shading. You can create some pattern here, maybe doodling, maybe writing. But I'm going to come up with um, a poem here based on improvisation again. So let's look at the lady and the whole painting and see what she feels exactly. I feel like she's really looking for being in nature. Maybe she's dreaming that she is in nature, but she's not. Maybe she's at home. Okay. I say... We're done with it. Actually, you can just write whatever you really love to, maybe a repetition of the words. You can fill up all these gaps between the hair, or maybe here, or you can just write down over the face, entire face, and it's uh, beautiful as well. Uh, use your creativity, do whatever you really want, come up with a lot of ideas, and post a picture of your painting as well to me so you can see a lot of different type of techniques with herbal tea painting with herbal tea and again with a spoon and uh, turmeric coffee and everything that you can have at home on my instagram which is asara brian Poor, and on facebook page which is asara art and my website as well if you have any question, please just ask and I'll show you how to do it. There are different type of techniques that you can learn and enjoy. So be creative and have fun. Bye.